Welcome. In this video, we're going to look at some of the terminologies used by EIGRP. Particularly, we're going to find out what successes and feasible successes are and what they do. Let's consider a topology now of a few EIGRP routes and networks. In particular, let's take a look at the 172.16.00/24 network. Each link here has an EIGRP composite metric. Router R1 will work out the best path to this network. Now this path will be the path that has the lowest EIGRP metric. This is what we call the successor route. The feasible distance is the metric along this path. The next hop IP address in this path is called the successor. The successor advertises the feasible distance to all of its neighbors. And when it does this, we call it the reported distance. Now there are often multiple paths through to a destination. The next best path to the destination is called the feasible successor. That is, it is a backup path and it is already guaranteed to be loop free. So to be a valid feasible successor, we need to meet the feasibility condition. The reported distance must be less than the feasible distance. And when you think about how that works, or you really look at the details behind this, you can see that the point behind this is to make sure that the backup path is not introducing a loop into the network if it were to become active suddenly. Well, those are a few simple little details around EIGIP that are essential to understand its operation. I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope it's helped. And I wanna see you in another video again soon.